away, coward. You'll pay for this insult. I'll be back. Dr. Light, what is the problem? A strange meteor has fallen to Earth just a while ago. This meteor seems to be emitting a powerful energy signature. Something this powerful must not fall into the hands of evil. I understand, Dr. Light. I'm on it. Thank you, Mega Man. If you can, please bring the media back. Okay. Ready. Blue Bomber is back in its second collection of classic Capcom titles, featuring faithful reproductions of Mega Man 7, 8, 9, and 10. The collection is bursting with additional content. From time trials and remix challenges to a music player and extensive gallery of rare illustrations. Welcome to TacosTheGeeks.com reviews of Mega Man Legacy Collection 2. And as I just previously stated, this game contains Mega Man 7, 8, 9, and 10. Basically, is it worth the price of admission of 20 bucks? When you look at it this way, you're paying $5 for each game. And if you're a diehard Mega Man fan, and if you had the Legacy Collection 1, this is a, a, a buy for me. Mainly because it's a nice revisit, and I'm loving the way we're getting re-releases of old school games that I grew up with. Because it's nice just to have, instead of searching for emulators or going to the barcade. These games are being released now, so it's really cool to see these things happening again. So, let's talk a little bit about it. Well, right now you're seeing Mega Man 8, which is one of my favorite Mega Mans as well. Because it kind of introduced a new mechanics there, which was the, uh, the little kickball... Uh, mechanic that to help you beat bosses and, and things like that and I love the fact that it was one of the first Mega Man games to include anime um, cutscenes minus the horrible horrible voice acting that you just previously heard I did enjoy it it was it just really made it feel like I was really in the Mega Man world I felt more immersed within it and the gameplay is still uh, I would say it's probably more the easier one compared to 7 um, 7, 9, and 10 on this entry, but I will say definitely 8 I had the most fun with. It's just a blast from the beautiful textures to the use of color to the music production and just the gameplay in general. It's, it's still classic Mega Man, but it's still something that you'll definitely see. Now, when it comes to Mega Man 7, Mega Man 7 is a little bit more harder, a little bit more challenging, and this was the SNES uh, Mega Man entry, which I was a little disappointed with. Uh, I wanted to see more of the SNES games in here. I, I was hoping they were just going to go the full 16, 32-bit route and just probably save Mega Man 9 and 10 for like another entry with uh, other Mega Man games. But I guess they just decided to just do 7, 8, and 9, and 10 and just stick to the number entry, which is not a bad thing. But 7 had a great premise. I loved it. Once again, this was like one of the first 16-bit Mega Mans. And it was just a blast and just a challenge to play. Then we go to the very difficult, very frustrating, rage, throwing your controller, F this game, Mega Man 9. And man, does it really bring it. And it just goes back to that classic 8-bit style feel, which I did enjoy. But God, is it challenging. God, is it difficult. And it makes me rage, complete rage. But it's just a great, awesome challenge. And I love the fact that the game doesn't hold your hand. It doesn't have rewind features. It doesn't have a save anywhere feature like the previous installment. It's back to being basics like, look, you're going to die. And then we have Mega Man 10, which also introduced second, a secondary character that you can also play as. And also have more powers compared to Mega Man uh, 9. This is a little bit more easier um, the Mega Man 9, but still a solid entry nonetheless. And not to mention, you have other great things that, as I, as I was previously stating, that you have time trials, which is very difficult, especially if you're playing 9 and 10, how you're going to beat this thing in such a quick way. And then you have extra challenge modes. So you have stage one remixes with things, you know, you have challenges that you have to do. Don't get hit, and, you know, unlock this bonus, get this much points. And also you get this cool, cool museum of illustrations of anime type of styles for Mega Man. So as you can see here from Mega Man 7 designs and you got um, eight, well, you know, just some rare illustrations that you haven't seen before. So overall, you guys, if you're a fan of Mega Man, Pick it up. I, I say it's a buy. 
Uh, if I want to give it out of five stars, I'm going to give it a four out of five stars. I want it more, but it's pretty cool. So this is Justin from Tacos of Geeks.com saying later days. I'll